Ladies and gentlemen, oh, this. I would like to bring you to the broken simulation, <laughs> cool. Earth 2020, yes. where the words you speak, literally the definitions, can alter the course of a virus. Whoa. Let me explain something to all of <laughs> you good people cool. watching. Listen, we have recently learned that if you go out into the streets with thousands of people linking arms and you say these words, no lockdown, all of a sudden, the virus erupts from the streets, spraying out of sewer pipes, and it's hitting everybody, and they're falling over, screeching and gasping for air. But, <laughs> but there's one cure. You need only do literally the exact same thing, go out with thousands of people, link arms, and say, Black Lives Matter. And then the virus dissipates and squeals in horror, and you dance Ooh, and cheer, and the sun comes and out, no and the world has become a better place. Oh my gosh. <laughs> study, you may experts say. You may yeah. yes, an expert ex study. <laughs> you may yes. think I'm joking. No. I'm I, thought, sorry. I thought you were joking when you first told me. I'm I gotta not be joking. Honest. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing that I'd like to show you is this story oh. from The Guardian. Oh, hello. Now, this is just one of many stories I've decided to pull, pull mm -hmm. up. U.S. lockdown protests may have spread virus widely, oh, no. cell phone data suggests. Devices associated with protests traveled up to hundreds of miles after rallies where few precautions were taken. Now, how many stories did we see just like this? In fact, there were many saying that the lockdown protesters are killing grandma, for instance. Yeah. Well, it's okay because now we've learned that Black Lives Matter protests, meaning quite literally the subject matter, may have slowed the overall spread of coronavirus in Denver and other cities, a new study finds. There it is, everybody. Quite literally, the subject matter of your protest will alter the course of a virus. We've huh. done it. We've we found it. magic words. Yes. We, it's, it's true. It's magic. I always knew We've, I always knew the human race had had such potential. Yes, amazing. yes. See, yeah. see, here's the thing. Who would have thought that while we've looked for the ancient texts of spells that we, that would grant us power over physical reality, you needed you needed only to have two different protests and start saying different things until you finally figured it out. Soon enough, we realized that your political ideology can influence whether or not a plague yeah. will kill you. Isn't that cool? Wow. Tim sent me that, and I said, "Miraculous." Oh it's, a, it's, it's, it's a it's 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 pure magic. Do you remember that study that was going around about uh, writing the the words on water on the side of a water cup? Yep, yep. Hate, love, yep, uh, whatever. New and they were age, like, they stuff. were like, look at look at the water crystals, how they change. Yeah, and it's like it was ac actually not really proven. I was like, well, it's just, I want to actually look into it, and there was no actual of course, st study. Of course. I was yeah, like, oh, that's that's, that's sad. you can't yeah. will your emotional energy into water. <laughs> Just like, no, this is fake news. Look at this article. It's very obvious what they're doing. The whole thing's yes. been political. There, is, there, there, there are people who are very stupid, unfortunately, who think this will work and unfortunately are correct when it pertains, as it pertains to some people. While the protests brought thousands of people together, they likely caused many more to stay home. Uh -huh. A research team, including a University of Colorado Denver professor, <laughs> concluded. I'm so you mean to tell me, hold on. Wait, so, so here's the logic. The logic is this. The logic is that oh, as thousands man. of people who normally would be locked down decided to go outside, there's more people not out. There's more people inside. I'm so confused. The math is is he teaches. It's, it's, what what does he teach again? He didn't do good in math. I guess he I don't doesn't think he did. Teach it doesn't, math. It doesn't well matter. Math they're lying. They're <laughs> lying. It's they're lying. obvious they're lying. Yeah, it's it's bad. You can't run it's your business, bad. but we can burn your business down. Yeah, we can. You can't go get a haircut, but we can go out and scream and pull people's hair. Scalp people. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. scalp people. Yeah. You're not allowed to run your business, but hey, we're going to gather by the tens of thousands and chant and scream. Yep. And then just when 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 everyone's like, "Hey, I kind of have a problem with you saying I can't do this. They go, uh, well, actually. You're spreading the, COVID more. The science yeah. says that uh, Black Lives Matter sa saves lives. Are you a science denier? I imagine it's like this This study actually as it came out wasn't research and like well thought out. It was a guy who's like what sitting is? in a room and he's like, um, the, 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 the protests actually um, slow the virus by uh, keeping uh, people inside um, because uh, more people went outside. No, you know, maybe they were doing the uh, the Joe Biden tweet, and it, it just like <laughs> generator. And they were like, "Oh, oh, know what? That's legit. Oh, Let's that's post it." Yeah. It's in Colorado. You know what the issue was? It was 100 percent in Colorado. You know what they were doing? What a little puff and pass? I'm Is that what sure. it was? Yep. A little puff yep. and pass. I think so. I so, think that's so, what was so Is that what they call it? In the here's the, call. Wait, wait. Here's the meme. Here's the meme. What? You go on. You 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 type oh, in. Here's yeah. the deal, and then you keep pressing. Oh, yeah. 
autofill <laughs> predictive text, and then and then you, you fill up a tweet, and that's a Joe Biden speech. So here's what they did. They were like, we're going to do a study, and they just kept mashing it, and it's like, yep. so they typed in Black Lives Matter protest may have, and they're like, slowed down the spread of COVID by keeping people inside while they went outside, and they were like, send. And they're like, <laughs> have, you, have, you, have, you stopped, <laughs> have you stopped to think about the logic of what you've just said? No, Thousands no, they don't. Thousands of people Predictive went text. outside, and that means more whoa, people whoa, whoa, are whoa. inside. Sorry, logic and the left, the, those two L's don't this get along well. Those two ah. L's. He's it's a like, professor? Like, yeah. Like, like, what does he teach? Uh, that's what I want to know. <laughs> what so, is he a professor in? <laughs> seriously. I'm well, look so, so look, to be fair, the first story I pulled up says it may have. Oh. And this was saying, actually, so here's, here, here's the deal. <laughs> what they've basically said is we are now able to go and protest for whatever we want. Basically. That's it. Unless you're protesting Stuff we don't the like. lockdown. But mm -hmm. there is, hold on. I, I do have another fair assessment as to what they're really trying to say. We need only change one word in this article to make it actually make sense. Shall I change the word for you and reread the headline? Yeah. Please do. Pull the story again. There we go. Let me read you the headline first. Black Lives Matter protests may have slowed overall spread of coronavirus in Denver and other cities. New study finds. While the protests brought thousands of people together, they likely caused many more to stay home. A research team including blah, blah, blah. Now I'm going to change one <laughs> word. Okay. And the whole thing will make sense. I'm tracking. Okay. Black Lives Matter riots may have slowed overall spread of coronavirus oh. while the while the riots brought thousands of people together they likely caused many more to stay home i would say inside way the more riot, accurate the riot. now yeah. that makes sense yeah that's terrifying. because now you actually do have people who might normally go out for a walk yep hiding in their homes mm -hmm. as their cities are ransacked and destroyed that kind of makes sense that's a good point Tim. absolute yep. terrorism terror mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. using their language riots don't exist right the, it, my favorite is msnbc where the host is like, now, you know, these protests have been very peaceful while the precinct, the police department is on fire and burning behind him. Yes. <laughs> it's, all, it's all peaceful. Don't, don't, don't mind the, the fire behind the, going the, on the emerald curtain. Everything's yeah. fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what we get, man. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, what's, what's, what's scary to me is when, uh, you know, I've, I was arguing with, with, with this dude I know from, from back in my neighborhood. And it was about the... Uh, the, the Trump uh, Russia bounty story. Do you know the story? Mm. Oh, yeah, I do. That Putin, you know, offered a bounty to Afghan militants to kill American soldiers. And it's the stupidest story I've ever heard. And it's, it's just like it's so bad. The reason it's dumb. And there's a bunch of national security reporters who brought this up right away, which made me laugh is they were like the, ins the Afghan militants are low, low cost, ill equipped insurgents for the most part who need no reason to kill American soldiers, right. none whatsoever. They've been doing it for, for decades now, right. offering them a bounty per soldier like uh, is, is rather meaningless. But more importantly, intelligence, the, the intelligence uh, community is divided on it. Apparently, the NSA is saying we have no evidence to support this. Trump denied it. Pence denied it. Mm -hmm. Other administra administration officials denied it. The New York Times has, I guess, like a single unnamed source. Yep, that's that's the thing that keeps getting me. I, I have all the even people I know are like hitting me up. Well, how 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 can you explain this? And I was like, you explain it to me then. Because where's the proof? Where's the proof? I read the article you just sent me. There's no proof. They're like, well, the UK said it. And it's like, okay, well, that's the UK. They reference the US, but there's no actual proof that has anything it's, it's, to do with it. They're just alluding. They're like, well, see, this makes sense. And it's like, it's no, it even, doesn't. But, but, I want I want some actual tangible proof. Where's your proof? It's not even about whether you support Trump or don't. It's that, why am I arguing with someone who's proven nothing? Yes. So it's like, you come to me with a story. I say, wow, that might be true. Can you prove it? No. You well, then a have a nice day. No, yeah, and, and not burden. only that, they're like, I can't believe you can still support Trump. And I was like... I just asked you for some proof on this. <laughs> yeah, calm down. I didn't even say Trump. I, I, I'm not even, we're not even talking about but that right is, now. I just want to know if this, if it is true, I want to know so I can report on it. This is Tell the, me that it's true. I want to find out if it's true or not. Right. This is the big challenge. It's not true. Let me, um, it's ridiculous. Let, me, let me, I'm going to, I'm, I, I, so my, I'm, I'm going to take my humble knob from, from, you know, a good seven down to a zero right now. Oh, oh nice. Whoa. I'm the founding member of the fastest growing news organization in history. And I regularly, regularly, well, I used to give guest lectures to PhD journalism programs and I've guest lectured several journalism uh, programs and spoken at many universities about journalism. And I've been flown out to some of these very high profile events and been offered jobs at some of the biggest news organizations, news organizations in the world. And even then, I will not pretend to know for a fact what really happened. So why is some dude who drives trucks for a living telling me I'm wrong because he saw a meme from a reply guy claiming <laughs> yes. Trump is selling American soldiers to Putin? Exactly. That and meme so is so bad. I responded with, I'm like, 
I'm arguing with this dude and I'm like, hey, here's what I think. And then their response is like, you're so dumb. Like, obviously we know this is true. The New York Times said it. And I'm like, one unnamed source does not a con- confirmation make. I mean, it used to be you needed three sources to confirm this. Right. They got one person saying, hey, we did this. And all of these denials. And then I finally ended with like, you know what, bro? I'm sick of this. I'm not going to go to a doctor and say, well, I don't care what you think about vaccines. I'm going to go to them and say, yeah, you're the doctor. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. I'm not a doctor. I didn't go to medical school. I'm not going to pretend like I will know. It's like what Bill Burr said to Rogan. When he was like, he's like, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to sit here with no medical degree. Listen to you sit there with no medical degree. <laughs> talk about whether we should be wearing masks. That's fair. And I'm like, excellent. Yes. yes. Now, <laughs> that being said, if I was to come to you and say, I know for a fact what really happened, then by all means, challenge me. Mm-hmm. But if I go to you and say, as a, a journalist and political commentator and cultural commentator, I have not seen hard definitive proof. And to be honest, the track record for these stories is like a serious net net negative. Yeah. yeah. Like the, the, the Intercept has put out this very fun story I love, the top 20 stories on Russiagate that failed. Oh, man. So I'm sorry. The burden of proof is on the New York Times. You can't just say, we talked to one person who thinks it happened. You need to prove it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. And then don't come and argue with me that you know how the news actually works when you've done no research on this. And I, I swear to God, the source was a reply guy, was one of those people who responds to Trump, yep. just makes things up. Exactly. And I'm like, your source of news is memes, dude. <laughs> yeah, memes. It's Occupy Democrats. <laughs> okay, Ooh. hold on. I'm going to turn your... Turn the humility back up. Yeah, turn it back to hum- seven. Humbility. So the hum- 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 the humble, hum- humble, hum- humble button. Humble, humble bar. Humble so turn the, it back uh, to eleven. Yes. There was there, there was, there's a report that comes out every year mm-hmm. called it's a news whips you know engagement track or whatever. Okay. The funny thing is, I think this was 2018 now, so I need to update my information on this one. But the number one source of in, uh, engagements for conservative news, can you guess which outlet conservatives flock to in large like the biggest numbers? I, I mean. Based on what we talked about earlier, I'm going to guess Fox. Boom. I don't know. You nailed it. Is it Fox? Bingo. You win the grand prize. Fox What do I win? A a thousand points. A UFO spin. A UFO spin. Yeah. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. So conservatives, according to this report, uh, Fox News is the number one source of information for conservatives. Okay. Now, do you know what the number one source for news for Democrats, for for left-leaning individuals was? I have no idea. Occupy Democrats. (laughs) Occupy Democrats. Pretty much Reddit, yeah. Occupy Democrats. Occupy Democrats is a conspiracy theory meme page where they just make fake fake memes. So I wasn't wrong. You were very close. Say. Yeah. <laughs> well, Reddit. it's worse than Reddit. Yeah. Reddit's oh. an aggregator. Okay. But yeah, it's Occupy Democrats generated the most engagement among the left. Dude. Wow. So they're getting their information from a picture of Trump going like, yeah. And then it says like, Trump kills babies and children and locks them in cages. Yeah, that's why when you try to talk to logic and like actual, oh, well, here here's where I'm getting my information. This is what I know about it all. What do you know about it? Yeah, it's like much. that's all you get. That's what they know. Like, well, well, if you don't know what I'm know, then you just don't know. And then that's they so walk weird away. They've gone insane. Yeah, it's like, what is the? Where's that logic? Like, when? Yeah. What happened to having a conversation? Like, I was just trying to. I was straight up trying to have a conversation with yeah. who I thought was a friend of mine earlier today on Facebook. It devolved into I don't know you anymore. I can't believe you're such a racist now. And I'm like, what, what are, who you, are ta- you talking to? I, I ha- well, like me. You, yeah, you're talking to me. Like, what are you talking about? Did like, you tell them that you work for a minority-owned company? Yes. I should have. Dr- I should have <laughs> led with that. that. Yeah, Man, what the heck? <laughs> missed opportunity. You know. Yeah. Oh. Next time, I'll, I'll, I love, I'll lead I, with you that. Know, you know, yeah. what my favorite thing about the the whiteness definition is what their ultimate goal is actually to make everyone white. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Interesting. So, uh, one of, so there's, there's a few arguments they use. No wonder they got rid of Aunt Jemima so quick. Oh yeah. No, no, no. They they want so so. Here's what they say. They say white, there's an, this is a recent article that came out, that mm. white isn't actually a real ethnic uh, descriptor. Okay. Because, say, back in, you know, uh, 1700s or whatever, Italians weren't considered white. Right. right. Irish people weren't considered And then in, in the early yeah, 1900s. I mean, 100 years ago, it wasn't like that. Well, 100 years ago, Irish people right. weren't white or, or whatever. Human. Right. And so they're like, that proves that whatever white is, is just the dominant group. So now they're arguing that Asians are uh, in new fact white? yes 100 that's why they're so that's their justification for discrim- discriminating against asians and i'll tell you what man i had one of the best conversations ever with these lunatics i was in it was uh, seattle okay and i was at uw university uh, university of washington in seattle and this guy was a weird weird guy was we were, we were arguing about something and then all uh, all of a sudden I, I i think i said something like you realize like the white supremacist people you're talking about right now are like Asian dudes, like mixed race Asian dudes. 
And then he immediately jumped to the, yeah, well, we all know that Hitler, you know, the Nazis and the, and the, and the Japanese were allies. And I was like, what? What? okay, they, they weren't. Well, they were the Axis, right? So, but if they were allies, we would have. They were allied with each other. N- not necessarily. If they actually worked together, that war might not have happened it's the true. way it did. And I think they didn't work together. Right. They were doing their own separate things. Right. And so my point was like, that was, that's was basically my point. I'm like, what? I was like, Wait, you're arguing that like, that in in 1987, oh, a white dude married a, a Chinese woman because of World War II? Yeah, what? And he was like, bro, he's like, I'm telling you, man, these white supremacists love Asian women. And I'm like, white Whoa. supremacists want to mix the race? Whoa, <laughs> what are you stop talking you right there. about, dude? <laughs> that's so funny. Oh and, then I, and then I, and then I, I turned, and I, oh I, got, I got mad. I was like, bro. Are you actually arguing <laughs> against race mixing? Like, are you a white supremacist? And then he was like, no, no, no. And I'm like, bro, you're literally pulling out you like, sound like, a, like yeah. some kind of weird, you know, anti-Asia. And he's like, no, 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 I don't, I don't mean it like that. And I'm like, yeah, you do. I think you do. I yeah. think you just let the max, mask slip a little too much. <laughs> yeah, and now you're, you're, I see what you're really mad about. This, this is a white guy. I tell you what, man, these people in the Pacific Northwest screaming racial slurs, yep. I think... Mm-hmm. You know, I have to question because we talked about about this before, like who really benefits from their policies? Who benefits from removing Aunt Jemima from Aunt Jemima pancakes? The family's angry about it. I know they are. Exactly. They they don't want it to happen. I don't either. I I see Aunt Jemima. I'm like, that's a sweet. That's a sweet looking lady. Yeah. Literally sweet. They're taking something (laughs) away. (laughs) They're taking away the legacy from a black family. Yeah. How about look at that. That uh, uh, was it called DC Black Tours? Was that the guy? Yeah, that guy. What a boss, man. He's the guy defending the Lincoln statue. Mm -hmm. And and, and these young people are screaming at him. And I'm like, the statue's being defended by a an older black man who's and another who's guy straight up really been through it all. And he he talks about it on his Facebook page. And 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 then he says like, who paid for the statue? Who paid for it? And mm-hmm. they don't realize it was paid for by freed slaves. By freed right? slaves. Who, uh, to they whom have no he's idea. And what he said, what he said was, what you need to protest is that they they turned it around. It's supposed to be facing the White House, I guess. Really? And it was like it was wow. it was changed direction or something uh-huh. like that. I don't know if that's true, but he was saying something like that. And apparently, I watched a video from an older black woman explaining the statue. Okay. She was saying something like it's supposed to symbolize uh, this person's chains are being broken, and they're realizing what true freedom is. And they're grateful to Lincoln, the great emancipator. Yeah. And it was paid for by the freed slaves. So I, I actually, I, I can understand why people look at it and say, you know, our freedom should not be predicated upon the, you know, the white Americans or whatever. But it's still history. It's still, it's still what actually happened that led us here to have them be free. But their feelings don't matter. Feelings. That's the point. Feelings. I can understand how they feel about it. God. But when you have the older crowd, the elders and the majority saying straight up we we recognize and we appreciate and we want this statue you don't get to be the one person with hurt feelings saying i will burn it all to the ground exactly and that's and that's where we're at man it's just people playing with the strings of emotions of the these young people Mm -hmm. they're just control it's all control it's all it is yeah yep nasty people who who have who have it's insane people with insane objectives yeah and the funny thing is I, i love that quote from john lennon it was something like you know they're insane people running the country for for insane reasons and i'm likely to be put away as insane for saying it something like that okay mm-hmm. it's like it's still true to this day yeah the the the, the, the democrats are literally insane i'm sorry man feels like it yeah here, here, here's how i feel right now about the whole system i think nancy pelosi is not necessarily insane oh but, i do well no no, no hold, hold, hear me out i think i think fi- figuratively insane in that she's willing to cede all of this ideological territory to to in to truly insane people yeah okay it would, it would be like you being the mayor you know of gotham city being like well instead of fighting the joker let's just let him have his, his, his let him have his go of it i guess yeah see what happens yeah he'll, he'll get great. tired eventually yeah summer of love. well you know it's uh it's a uh, the young people and their ideas oh crazy all right go at it joker it's like these these people have no goals they're just running around bouncing off the walls oh it just sounds like bad parenting but here's to what me. i think, I think yeah, the republicans are nothing I think they're just, I don't, I don't even know what they are. There's a small handful of them I can name that I think do good things. Yep. And, mm-hmm. you know, like I mentioned, Rand Paul, for instance, I think he's yeah, one of like the best six. we got. Yeah, I mentioned him earlier because he's actually putting bills out that would help fix some of the problems. They're out there protesting Seriously. and the Democrats are stopping him. It's like, yeah. hmm. But what do the, what do the rest of the Republicans do? What do they do? I don't know. I, like, I, I, as I said, I'm, I'm still learning about politics. I, yeah. I don't know many Democrats. Yeah. I don't know many Republicans. I'm Look, learning man. more and more as we go. And it's like, it's really not good. <laughs> it's not a good look on the Democrats from what I'm learning. Tucker Carlson, one of the reasons he has the highest ratings ever, mm-hmm. he's calling out the Republicans. Yeah. 
he, he had this, this, this really viral segment right now where he's got this, uh, I think he's a Republican senator from Indiana okay. who's in favor of police reform and, and limiting qualified immunity. Yeah. Yeah. And Tucker's like, why are you saying that, you know, what, what the cop did in Atlanta was a, was a tragedy? What should he have done? And this Republican can't say anything. And he's like, you are siding with these people. I'm yep. seeing, I'm seeing, not a, saying something. I'm seeing a lot of Trump supporters say like the Republicans are siding with the looters even a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Because they're like, okay, okay, we'll give you a little bit of what you want. Just please don't hurt us. That's it. So you've got, in give effect, them a little bit. They they realize that they can take whatever they want then. Yep. It's an avalanche. And the Republicans are certainly, you know, near the top of the slope as everything goes crashing down and the, and the, and the Democrats are at the bottom just yep. free falling. It's bad parenting. It's them giving the, the crying baby all the attention because the baby's crying. It's like sometimes you have to let the baby finish crying and and not pamper them, not coddle them. No, there's still a debate it about spankings. Like. Apparently spankings are, 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 are bad. Who knew? I, I don't know. know. That's, that's what they say. So I'm not going to pretend to be, like, I know how you raise kids. But I'll tell you what. If you, if, you know, I, I, what all of this far left stuff, mm -hmm. it, it reminds me of, um, I think it was a Futurama episode. I love, I love using Futurama for references. Yes, you, you do. You probably know this. Yes, you do. I could be wrong about it, but it's like, it's a woman and she's got her kid. Maybe it's Simpsons. And the kid's like... Mom, I want, you know, this video game or something. And then she's like, well, I don't know if you should get it. Shut up, Mom. Get me the game. And she goes, well, okay. And then she buys it. Yeah. And I'm like, that's it. The, old, like the, the, mom. the mom is the Democrat and the kid is the progressives. And the kids are like, shut up, Pelosi. Give me what I want. She goes, okay, I'll just give you what you want. And then she like hands the keys to the castle, just letting it all burn down. And we're sitting there like, stop. Just tell them to shut up. Mm -hmm. You know what I love? Deal with it. There's that South Park episode. Where they where they're giving the kids Ritalin, and Adderall or whatever. I think it's Ritalin. Okay. And then I think it's South Park. Yeah, where they're like explaining a non medicinal way to uh, get kids to to act properly. Okay. Do you have, you know what I'm talking about this episode? I think you referenced this before. Yeah, right? I know. There's like a is. bunch of kids and they're like bouncing around all crazy. Oh man. And then he's like, notice how the children won't sit down and pay attention. Now I'll apply the non medicinal effort, and he whacks the kid. <laughs> Shut up! And the kid stops. <laughs> And he's like, see, now the child is focused and paying attention. Yep, Let's that. try it on the next child. And he walks over and the kid's bouncing. And then he slams the table, sit down and shut up. <laughs> and the kid freezes and he's like, and once again, the treatment works. Well, I don't know if that's necessarily good parenting. <laughs> no, no that's kidding. Good. It's a joke. It's a funny point. <laughs> but maybe it's because these, in the middle. these kids have no one strong to look up to. Yep. Like, you know, man. alpha male, man. Like, appar family. apparently right now, Kellyanne Conway's daughter is going viral because she's ragging on her parents and Trump. Okay. And I'm like, you know, that's probably fine. Kids rebel and all that stuff. But what about that? You have that the Michigan GOP guy whose daughter was like going hard against him saying, don't vote for him, Don't please. For He's awful. And I'm yeah. like, how have you raised your kids this way? You know what right. I mean? Exactly. Like that's on you, man. You know what? She's right. No, when no, she no, said, don't vote for him. She's right. I won't. <laughs> that's a good point. Because if she, if, if she, she if she views you that way, him. if your daughter doesn't believe in you and you're a dad, mm. then <laughs> Well, that's then, not how he raised the his daughter. It's that he didn't raise his daughter. Well, yeah, that, that, that that's part of how. Look, no matter what you do, you raise your kids. Okay. If you raise them poorly by neglecting them and failing to teach them, it's how you raise it's, them. It's you. It's, it's you. what your choices make. Okay. All right. Good point. So the way I see it is, either he raised her poorly mm -hmm. and she's disrespectful and disobedient and has no respect. You know. Okay. Fine. Then why would I trust this guy to, to lead the country? Or he did raise her properly. And she's legitimately like, don't, don't vote for the guy. Yeah. I'm like, all right. Listen to her. Hey, man, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's the kid you raised. I'll take their word for it. Yep. Good point. I, but, you know, I guess the, the, the crux of the conversation is spoiled kids who think they deserve everything. Yep. Romping around, smashing things. And it, 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 again, to go back to the Joker, it reminds me of that The Dark Knight when uh, the Joker says he's like a dog chasing a car. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't know what to do mm -hmm. if, he actually, if, he ever actually caught, if he ever actually caught one. Right. And so this is what happens when these people go out. Andrew Cuomo said this. He says, you've won. What do you want? And they were like, uh, mm -hmm. smash. And they started just ramp ramping around. It. <laughs> so Andrew Cuomo actually said to the protesters, he, he gave a public statement. He said, you've won. We agree. Now tell us what you want. And they couldn't. Right. They just no keep idea. marching around screaming justice. That's what we want. It's like, what does that mean? You don't, they don't know what it means they don't. because they're means. ignorant. Yeah. They don't have any idea. They have no clue. Dude, watching these videos from the Chaz. It's insane. It's, it, it's a it, war zone now. It's, it, it, it totally. So according to one witness, they said the, the, the Chazestani National Guard fired 300 rounds. It's insane. At a car. And I don't believe that. I, I don't How many believe times either, that would, would they have to reload knows? to fire 300 rounds? Like 10 minutes. 
They'd be like pop, 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 pop. Well, sh- sure, sh- from reloading. one one gun, but when you have six or seven people, there with, were three guys. Oh, okay, three guys. But but even if you even if you had six firing fifty rounds. I mean, that would be... You'd hear it in the videos. It, that's insane. I From the few videos that I did here, there was a lot of pops. Yeah, mm-hmm. but... 300 maybe, rounds does uh, feel a little yeah. exaggerated. But, right. But so, that's, uh, that's again, those are the videos that we've seen, you know, dude, from, you know, actual you know, video evidence. These are kids... It is what it is. ...who are who are playing adult versions of cops and robbers. Yeah. Riots and revolutionaries. I, I watched one of these videos that went, you know, one of these live streams, mm-hmm. and you can see some of these people like 18, 19 years old dumb looks on their faces just like totally shocked that a car is covered in blood yep and they're just like uh wow blood is real Whoa. that's real blood that's at least at least there's one and you hear this is my favorite quote it's like a crime scene is that what they said yeah it's <laughs> like yep. wow sure yes is. it is that's what happens when you shoot somebody that would be a crime you know, scene. you know what's really Ridiculous. crazy about the Chaz is that i was watching uh, the live stream from mm-hmm. one of these guys okay and he explained that there were several shootings the other day and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what? How come we never heard that? Mm-hmm. Because people didn't get hit. So he explained that there have been multiple shootings where no one got injured. Of course. Because of that, no one reports anything. <laughs> a gunshot goes off, no one says anything. A gunshot goes off, somebody gets hit. All of a sudden, now you've got major international news. Mm-hmm. So he was like, yeah, earlier today, there was a couple shots fired. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. And then, like, you know, a little bit after that, we heard some gunshots at the park. And I'm like, you mean to tell me what that there were happening? like three shootings that day? Yeah, but it doesn't get reported every time a gunshot goes off. It's crazy. So people don't know. Oh they only hear that we, we are only hearing about the shootings where someone actually got hit. Yep. Or dies. How many times have it, has someone been shot at? Probably a lot. For all we know, the first shooting wasn't the actual first shooting. It was the first shooting that that was successful. Oh yeah. my gosh. That's a good now, point. Now you hear the dad of the victim is calling for the National Guard to come and plow it all down. I, I kind of want them to. Can you blame him? Yeah, the city needs to get a hold of it. And the mayor, instead of actually dealing with it, is complaining about the other councilwoman. Because she's going against her. Yeah. It's like, and I don't blame her. Seriously. There, a lot of people are saying like, yeah, yeah, get her get her off the council and put her into the mayor's seat. Yes. <laughs> I'm just yes. like, oh, yes. Uh, good, good. I know. Yeah, we good. need something. That, that, exactly. Look, this, this, this woman, this councilwoman, mm-hmm. led a protest at the mayor's house. Okay. I don't agree, for, I don't agree with the reasons. But I'm glad the mayor's getting protested. Yep, me she too. is. She is. She is just man. The way described is like imagine if your house, like you, your dog barfed on your floor, like right when you're about to go to work, and you're like, oh man, I can't. I don't have time to clean this up. So you hire a cleaner, right? Okay. And they're like, they show up, and you're like, I gotta leave for work. Can you clean this up so when I'm back, everything's clean? Like you got it. And you come back, the barf's still there. Yeah. You're like, yo, I thought I hired you specifically to deal with this and to like manage this. And they're like, oh, you know, we're we're gonna talk about it and hopefully it dries and clears up on its own you're like why did i hire you if you can't do the job yeah. and that's the mayor of seattle oh man it's it i bet to, i bet to her when she was running she was probably thinking how easy it's going to be i think lots of mayors thought that until yep. this year sit yep. back you don't you don't got to do yeah. anything Jacob you just Frey. got to live in the mayor's no mansion deal. yeah you got, you know, just hand me a mansion yeah this is sweet yeah yeah Get access mm. to city budgets for planning how you want to plan, doing what you want to do. Yep. And then the riots came. And then she was like, what do I do? I don't know. Oh, no. And now there's like multiple shootings. Five people, I believe, have been hit. There have been other shootings where no one got hit, fortunately. And the city kids is Kids are just... getting killed. Seriously. Yeah. They, so kids. so earlier today, they tried clearing it out. And then the protesters just immediately put it back up. Because they're not arresting them. Yep, exactly. They're not dealing with the problem. So so, what can we expect? They're they're setting it up in uh, in New York City now. Yep. They're expanding their New York Autonomous Zone. Yay! Now yes. other like DC and other cities have crushed these autonomous zones. Just like it was satisfying to watch the DC shut down. The cops they were just, just come like, in, flipping nope. tables. Mm-mm. Get out of here! I was like, yes, yes. dude. Very even nice. even, even in Portland, which is super right. far left. That's true. The mayor came in and crushed their autonomous zone. Mm-hmm. God, I could I couldn't imagine. Being in Seattle, you, you heard about that billion-dollar firm, one point five billion-dollar ma- management firm is, is Move dipping to Phoenix. out. Moved to Phoenix. Yep. I'm hearing other companies are saying the same thing. I don't blame them. There was another story I read where they basically said that the the economy is being crippled, and obviously with the mismanagement by the government, there's just better opportunities and benefits in other places. Yep. So like I think other companies are planning on relocating to, to Texas and stuff like that. Yep. Which can be bad for Texans if a bunch of Seattle people move there. You know, they bring their politics with them. But Seattle. What's going to become? It's it's it's, it's going to be Detroit. Detroit. Are they, are they going, yep. yep. You know the, the the funny thing, we've already got COVID. Mm-hmm. Now we've got COVID wave number two. 
Of course, as long as you say Black Lives Matter, the, the virus goes yeah, away. So you don't have to worry know. about it. But what's going to be left of cities at okay. all? Shell. With or without autonomous zones? I don't know. I'm over living in a city. I, I lived in New York for most of my adult life, and I... I am so happy I don't live in a city anymore. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell everyone what our plan is. I'm just gonna say it straight up. Do it. We're 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 getting a, a space station. It's a giant ring. You may yes. have seen it in the movie Elysium, I'm and so it spins excited. to create an artificial gravity. I'm kidding. That'd be awesome. Though. <laughs> we're no, getting no, off the planet because go. the planet is <laughs> blowing is up, doomed. Yep. Bye, guys. And it's gonna be a big ring in the sky. <laughs> we'll still be podcasting. That is and a pretty cool movie, broadcast. though. Elysium. Yeah, but it was so obvious what You're they right. did. No, it's true. It was like uh, the people on Earth spoke Spanish, and the people in Elysium spoke French. Hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Have you noticed that? I did see that, yeah. Yeah, we get it. We get it. We get it. Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. We do the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. If you want to catch the full show, tune in to this channel, subscribe, hit the like button, or check us out on iTunes and Spotify, and we will soon have this podcast up for free on all podcast platforms. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all in the next episode.